In today's Sunday Solution, we're going to do another crappy job. It's time for another Sunday Solution. Let's, Let's go. go. Any guesses what might be going on here today? The following program contains scenes and language of a frank and explicit nature. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, so here's the situation. One of my blades is leaking by, which is driving me crazy. And they're original. And then one of these tabs on the back of this Y here got gnawed off by an inexperienced pump-out guy. So the hosing hooked up just perfectly. That causes a leak. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace everything from here to here today. Hopefully that goes without a hitch. So right now, we are flushing our tanks multiple times, our black tank, so that we can make this job as clean as possible. So hopefully, None of these bolts will give me trouble. Well, they are rusted, but I did spray them up with WD-40 and try to get them to loosen off. So if I can get them bolts off and get everything to line up, then we, we should be in good shape. So we will get back in a few seconds here once we get done flushing. All right, so we're getting ready to go. I've flushed the tank real good and I've left the valves open, so hopefully most everything is drained out. So if I can get these bolts out, that's going to be the hardest part. And then get everything lined up, so we'll, we'll give it a shot. Of course, we want to glove up. There we go. Mm. Already smells delicious. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive With every star We are born again Open your heart All right. Here's the fun part. This is where it all goes down, right here. All right, so basically what we have here is we got a rubber seal. There's a rubber seal on the inside. There's a rubber seal for the blade. My plan is to put the black one on first and the Y and get that snugged up and then slide in the gray. So that's my plan. Let's see if it comes apart. Not too much uh, trouble. Oh, it comes a little bit. Okay, we got a little bit of black coming out. That's wonderful. Man, that stinks. Okay. I'm going to start one bolt. Just to hold that there. Not all the way through, though. I see. Yeah, you know you're gonna treat me. I'm with you. Okay. Start. 
start it a little easier. Okay, now, pull that gasket. That gasket stays. Here's the tricky part. Getting this one in with the gaskets staying in place. And like that one, just drop it. Got the water stopped. Switch this out and change some gloves. Okay, get this thing buttoned up. Biggest thing with these is not to over tighten them, or it's only plastic. So, these are. The back ones are my hardest. So. try that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the uh, flush the back tank again and then uh, I'd rather check it with dirty water dirty dirty clean water so to speak then have uh, find out I leak it I'm leaking at a you know black tank that still moves these are good We'll go from there. Let's get her started. Fingers crossed. All right, so we're all done. No leaks. Job wasn't that difficult. Uh, other than the uh, 86 degree heat. So what I did was I filled up the uh, black with the flush and open the valve to check it for leaks and I'm doing the same with the gray there's no leaks everything's fine so should be good all right so I hope you enjoyed that uh, Sunday solution at least more than I did making it so I'll put a link in the description for the parts I used and uh, and like I said, with the blade valve being bad, if I bought the two blade valves, the cost of the whole section was pretty much the same as buying just the two blade valves. So it's a no-brainer to just replace it all. And I think it's a little bit easier the way I did it. So if you like this video, click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.